Prepare to go offline. Off screens. Off socials. And off road. Prepare to be moved. The all new Nissan Pathfinder. Good afternoon, I'm Lewis Haskew. Julian Assange is on his way back to Australia. The WikiLeaks founder is set to touch down here in Canberra tonight as a free man. It comes after he pleaded guilty to one espionage charge in court this morning and was sentenced to time served following 14 years of legal battles. Australia is going backwards in its fight to curb inflation. The Reserve Bank wants it to sit between 2 and 3%, but the latest data shows it's risen by 4% in May compared to a year earlier. Stephen Mickenbecker from CanStar says the next three months will be crucial when it comes to the Reserve Bank lifting rates again. Now, if this quarter coming up, so the June quarter in other words, if it also is around the 1% or higher, I just don't know that they'll have much choice but to push the button and, uh, and bump rates up again. The washout from this year's Territory budget continues with the ACT's finances missing the mark for business, according to the Canberra Business Chamber. While they recognise the importance of investing in health, the Chamber thinks not enough focus was placed on helping the local private sector. Also today, legislation to ban live sheep exports have passed the first hurdle after the lower house of the federal parliament passed the bill 89 votes to 54. It will now be debated in the Senate. And almost one in five Aussies are splitting the bill on the first date. A new finder survey revealing more than a third of singles also took steps to save money when meeting someone new. Make Australia's best-selling compact SUV yours today. Get that new car feeling for less in a brand new MG ZS. From just $22,990 drive away. Hurry into your local MG today. Amplify CBR Sport. Harvey Norman clearance on now at Fishwick and Belconnen. Must end June 30. The Blues and the Maroons do battle in Game 2 of State of Origin tonight, played down in Melbourne for just the sixth time in the comp's history. New South Wales coach Mark Maguire telling Channel 9 he's excited for the challenge of keeping the series alive in front of 90,000 fans. Yeah, coming back into town and obviously now being here and this morning there's plenty of people wandering past and I'd imagine the day's going to get pretty live as we keep going. But uh, yeah, once the boys go out, I'm, I'm really confident in the way they've prepped and uh, really believe in this group. And in the AFL, the Giants have locked in another exciting young talent with defender Lockie Ash recommitting to the club until at least the end of 2027. Ash put pen to paper after a strong start to his 2024 campaign. The 23-year-old averaging 19.7 touches and 367 metres gained per game. This is Will, and Will always likes more. That's why Will uses car sales to buy a car. We have over 200,000 new, used and demo cars to choose from, all there on the app. Perfect. Car sales in Melbourne Storm. More, better. Amplify CBR weather. Join the Canberra Labor Club and go in the draw to win $5,000. 14 and mostly sunny this afternoon, then some cloud around with a top of 13 tomorrow. And you can get the latest news anytime with Amplify's Canberra Cast podcast.